Okay, next step is to make sure everything is closed before we uh, turn on water to the main part of the house. So that's already going to be closed, the, that main black valve. Uh, this will be closed, this will be closed. Definitely make sure those two are closed. Those go to the left and right cabin. Um, so um, we want to, it's okay for all these little valves to be open, except this one, because that is a drain, so we'll want to close that, and I'm going to do that right now, so it's closed. And then we want to make sure the water filter is on. I got a new water filter I'll leave here, and, uh, Go ahead and install it and make sure that uh, the casing is closed tightly and we can leave that isolation valve open and then what we can do is go upstairs and make sure all the faucets are off there's a faucet in the kitchen there's a faucet in the lower bathroom there's the bathtub faucet that can be closed. Then upstairs, there's the uh, the sink faucet, and then the the uh, supply valves to the toilets, both upstairs and downstairs, can be closed as well, so that everything is closed. And this here is a bypass, and this bypasses the hot water heater. And that's so we don't get a bunch of glycol in the hot water heater. So we're going to flush all the glycol out and then we're going to turn the hot water heater back on.